I've got my foot bar up and I've got two heavy springs on my machine. We are going to start facing towards the foot bar, seated on the box for foot work. So we're going to pull ourselves forward on that box as close as feels comfortable. If you need an optional sticky pad under your glutes so that you don't slide back on your box, you can grab one of those. From here, we'll take our feet onto the foot bar, sit bone distance apart, flex all 10 toes back to the shins, take your hands to the fronts of your shins. Just give me a little gentle pressure in on the shins to allow your body to get nice and tall, and then exhale, extend the arms and round the spine back. Inhale, get nice and tall again, pulling inwards on the shins, and then exhale, round the spine and lean back. We'll just do two more like that. And last time here. Beautiful. And then inhale and pull yourself forward back over those sit bones. Let's try to maintain the height of our spine and just float those hands up behind the head. On your next inhale, we'll press the carriage out, grow out of the low back, and then inhale, come in. I'm sorry, inhale, press out, and exhale, come in. And again, inhale, press out, and exhale, come in. And we'll do six more just like that. For four, try to get as close to your stopper as you can. Last two. And last time. Now we're going to press that carriage out again, extending long through the legs. You take a big breath, inhale, get even taller, and then exhale, rotate. Inhale, sit up nice and tall, grow taller, exhale, rotate. Think about pressing the heels evenly into the foot bar, even as you twist. Lay all the way down, and I'd like you to align yourself 
so that the bottom tips of the shoulder blades are right on the edge of the box there. Hands behind the head, heels can be resting on the foot bar for now. I'd like you to lift your head, neck, and chest up in a bit of forward flexion, press your low back down to the box, and from here we are just going to lift one knee into tabletop and the other knee into tabletop. From here, toe tap, the right toe down and up, and then the left toe down and up. Inhale and exhale. Keep that carriage nice and quiet here, moving smoothly through space. Find your breath. Let's do four and three and two. And last one, let's add a little cross towards the floating knee and center. Towards the floating knee and center. Really rotate through the ribs. Nice, two more to each side. Let's stay here. Beautiful, lower the chest down through center. Cross and extend the lifted leg. Lower down and bend, cross and extend. Your other foot can be resting here on the foot bar. Take that opportunity to rest that foot. Let's do four. And three. Last one, stay in rotation through the torso, extend that leg and just lower and lift that leg for five, four, or reach across the room with your toes. Last two, and last time, come back center, lower that foot down if you want to take a brief little stretch back over the box, that should feel good. Curl the head, neck and chest up. Bring your other knee into a tabletop position. Rotate towards that knee and extend the leg. Come back center and bend the knee. Rotate, extend. Inhale and bend. Let's do three more here. Last one, stay in that rotation. Lower and lift that leg for six, five, Last three, two, and one. Come back center, lower that foot down. Take a brief stretch back over the box if it feels good. From here, tuck your chin towards your chest, slide your front ribs towards your hips. We're just gonna do little pulses up here for eight, and seven, and six, really isolating those upper abdominals. For four, last two, and last one, can you keep your head, neck, and chest lifted? Bring the knees into a tabletop position. Flex the feet and bring the heels together. Beautiful, now tap both heels down towards the foot bar. Exhale, bring them back up. Tap both heels down, lift both heels up. For six, keep that low back pressing towards the box. And five. And four. Last two, and last time. Beautiful job, grab onto behind your knees, slowly roll the spine up, beautiful. Let's come off of the box for a moment. We are just going to adjust our spring down to one heavy spring. Also take your foot bar down. From here, let's just come onto our belly, facing towards the back end of our reformer chest, off the front edge of the box. I'm gonna take my heels together and my toes apart here and grab onto my straps and bring my hands to the outside of my reformer. Slide your shoulder blades down your back, keep your wrists nice and long from here. Exhale, bring those hands back, coming up into back extension. Inhale, lower and come back to neutral spine. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Find all the length you can in your legs, in your low back, in the back of your neck. Four more here. Last two. 
time last time. Pull those arms back, turn the palms down, open the arms out to a T. Exhale, pull the heels of the hands into the hips, and then extend those arms out to your T. Add a little back extension here. So as the arms pull back, the upper body lifts up just slightly. Find that breath. Four more. Palms stay facing down the whole time. Last two. And last time. Let's hold our arms back, turn our palms in, bend the elbows to 90 degrees, and then extend the arms nice and long. Inhale, and exhale. For four. Last two. And last time. Hold the hands directly under the elbows. Now one more exercise here. We are going to extend those arms down, keeping the carriage still, and then bend the elbows back up to the ribs. Sneaky little tricep exercise here. Keep that carriage still, extend the arms. Keep that carriage still, bend the arms, elbows high. For four. And three. Last two. And last time. Woo! Bring those straps back onto your pegs. And let's slide ourselves up and off of that box. From here, we're going to move the box to the side. I'm going to bring it over to the side closest to you, just so you have a visual of what we're doing. So that box is basically in line with the carriage. I'm going to come down to one very light spring. On my reformer, I have an option for a yellow spring, which is very light. You could also do this on just a light spring. It'll be quite challenging, okay? So scoot your toe onto the front edge of your box. We are going to roll down onto our box, on our back. You're going to take your inside loop, and we're going to end up putting it on our inside knee here. So I'm going to slip my foot in, take that strap over the knee, Adjust myself so most of my back is attached to the box, hands behind the head here. Your other foot can be on the floor. From here, we're just going to drive the knee towards the chest, and then extend the leg forward as much as you can without losing tension on that spring. Exhale, pull. Inhale, reach. Exhale, pull. Inhale, reach. Upper body is just nice and stable here. Let's do four more here. Last two, and last one. Now put a little tension on your spring. The foot that's on the floor is going to lift and tap, and lift and tap for four, three, two, and last one. Lower that foot down again, go back to your initial movement. Extend and pull. Now we're adding rotation towards that knee. For four, three. Last one, stay in rotation with the upper body. Keep the tension on this strap. And again, lift and lower your outside foot. For four. Three, and last time. Very nice. Control yourself all the way up to seated. We are going to take that strap off. Place your strap back for a moment. I'm going to put my box on the other side briefly. And then we are going to do that same series on this side. So we'll sit towards the front edge of our box. Grab your inside loop, place it on your inside knee. Lay all the way down. Outside foot can be on the floor. 
Upper body is here, nice and stable. And we're just going to pull the knee into the chest and return. And pull and return. It does not have to be a very big movement, guys. I want you to really think about pulling with those deep abdominal muscles, not so much with the hip flexor. For four. Last two. And last one, hold some tension on that strap. When you're ready, outside foot lifts up and taps. Lift up and tap, four more. Last two, last time. Lower that outside foot down. We'll go back to that little pull. When you're ready, add rotation towards that pulling knee. For four. Last two. Last time, stay in rotation. Again, lift and tap for five. Four. Last two, and one more time. Very nice. Come all the way up. Take that strap off of your thigh. We're gonna get our box out of the way for a few minutes. Staying on this very light spring. I'm gonna turn myself towards my carriage. Widen my feet, I'm in a sumo squat or a wide second position here. And the further you are towards your foot bar, the more tension you're going to have on your spring. From here, let's just hug a tree. So I'm low in the legs, and I'm just bringing my fingertips, especially my pinkies, towards one another. Ears are stacked on shoulders, shoulders are stacked over hips. Let's do four. And three, two, last one, hold the hands one on top of another, rotate towards your risers, rotate towards your foot bar. Now I'm going to add an optional heel lift on the heel that's closest to the foot bar as I rotate. Rotate and lift the heel. Rotate and lift the heel. You can also keep both heels down on the ground for more stability. Rotate those ribs for six. The last four. The last two. And last time. Beautiful, try to stay low in your legs. Just place your strap down. Hands can come back to heart center. Let's come down and up in the legs just a little bit. Press those thigh bones back. Nice, settle in. We're here for eight, and seven, six, the last four, last two, stay low in the legs, maybe lift both heels, lower both heels. Otherwise, both heels can stay down or you could alternate heel lifts. Nice job, you've got four, and three, two, both heels lifted or down on the ground, little pulse down for eight, seven, six, last four, three, two, and one. Come all the way up to stand here. We're gonna stay on the side of the reformer, bringing our inside leg back into a lunge. Outside leg is forward. I'm gonna bend both knees here. I like to press my inside shin against the carriage just so it gives me a little more stability. If you want to practice more balance, then shift yourself away from your reformer. Grab onto your inside strap here. From here, we're just going to press that palm forward and bend the elbow. Your other hand can press as well. Square off those hips. Bend the back knee deeply. If you need more tension, you would just walk forward a little bit towards your foot bar. If you need less, you could walk a little back towards your risers. Let's do four more here. And three. And last time. 
From here, flip that palm overhead. Other hand can come to the hip. We're just going to do a single arm tricep press. Push and bend. Elbow directly in front of the shoulder here. For four. Last two. And last one. One more exercise to come. Widen those arms out to the sides. Let's just do a hug a tree facing front. Exhale, hands together. Back leg should be pretty fired up here from holding this lunge for so long. You've got four and three. And last time. Very nice job. Good. Control that carriage. Place your strap back and let's walk around the other side. Good. So I definitely feel uneven in my legs right now. So good to balance it out. We're going to start facing in towards our carriage. Align yourself so that you have some tension on your spring. Feet go wide. Toes and knees in external rotation. Arms go wide. From here, pinkies touch and open. And pinkies touch and open. Get low on those legs. We'll do four more here. Last two. Last one. One hand over the other. Let's add rotation. Exhale. Inhale. Now if you'd like, again, you can lift that outside heel as you rotate towards it. Use that waistline. For four. Last two. And last time. Very carefully place that strap back. Bring your hands back to your heart. We will come down and up in the legs here, nice and smooth. Shoulders over hips, hips over the heels. For four and three. Last one, stay low. Maybe both heels lift, both heels lower, or you're alternating. For six, can you get a little deeper? Last four, three, two, heels up or down, little pulse for eight, seven, six, last four, three, two, and stand. Very nice job, shift those legs up. Let's walk backwards a little bit. Inside foot is going back into a lunge. You're gonna grab onto your strap one more time. I'm gonna press my inside shin against my carriage. And again, the further forward you are, the more tension you start with on your strap. From here, both hands press forward, both hands bend, both elbows bend. Keep the collarbones wide, even as you extend those arms forward. Bend the back knee deeply. For four. Last two. And last one. Flip that palm so the hand is pressing forward. Elbow in front of shoulder. Press and bend. Press and bend. For four, really isolate that tricep, try to keep the elbow completely still in space. Last two, and last one. One more exercise to go, guys. So open those arms out. Let's hug a tree facing forward. Pinkies touch. Can you bend that back knee even deeper? You've got four more to go. And last time through. Very nice. Carefully come up. We'll place that strap back. From here, we are going to have a seat on the reformer. I'm still on that very light spring. I'm going to just change it to a blue, so still light, but just a little more resistance there. So one light spring. Good. 
from here, your bottom leg is going to come in front of your shoulder blocks. Take your headrest down and place your other foot on your headrest. I've got my outside hand resting on the edge of the carriage here. Beautiful. From here, we're going to take our front loop into our hand, elbow towards the knee. When you're ready, press that arm up and bend the elbow down. So there's lots of options during this little series. You can stay here as your first option. Second option, we press into the hand, we float the hips, we bend the elbow and lower the hips. Press and lift the hips, lower. For four. Last two. Last one, now let's see if we can hold it here. Beautiful, extend your top leg, maybe. Little lifts up. You've got eight, seven, this knee can also be bent. For four, three, two and one. Bend the knee, bend the elbow, settle the hips. Place that strap back and let's turn around to the other side. So your bottom leg is going to go in front of the shoulder blocks. Your top foot is going to go onto the headrest. <clears throat> Grab onto your front loop, elbow to knee, the hand comes to the front of the carriage. Let's just start all together, shoulders away from the ears, press the arm long and bend the elbow. Option to float the hips as the arm reaches. Coordinating all those different parts of your body. Last four. Last two. Last one, let's hold the lift. Maybe the outside of the top leg floats up, little lifts up. Knee bent or extended for eight, seven, six, last four, three, two, and one. Carefully bend the knee, carefully settle the hips, and place that strap back. Very nice job, guys. Okay, let's grab our box again. I'm still on that light spring, and I'm going to place the box on to my foot bar. So in my reformer, my foot bar is all the way down and that angles my box just slightly. If you have a slightly different reformer and your box is flat, as long as the box is secure and not going anywhere, you can do it with a flat box as well. Okay. From here, we are going to come down onto our knees, facing side. I'm going to bring one forearm onto the box and then I'm going to shift my knees so I'm in a kneeling side plank. Take your time to adjust so that you feel nice and stable here. Press your forearm down into the box, lift through the low obliques. From here, we are just going to lower and lift the hips, pressing the carriage out as the hips lower, pulling the carriage in as the hips lift. Exhale. Exhale. Beautiful. Option the hand floats towards the ceiling. We're going to add a little um, thread the needle action as we pull the carriage in. As you pull the carriage in, that top arm reaches under and you rotate towards the well. For four. Last two. And last time. Extend that carriage back out, shoulder over the elbow. Again, that top leg extends. This time, externally rotate that top leg. Lower the hips, lift the hips. Lower the hips, lift the hips. You can stay here, or as the hips lower, the leg can float up and down. And up and down. Let's do four more. Last two. And last time. Very nice. Both knees down. Rotate towards your box. We'll bring both forearms on. We're going to bring our toes onto the reformer, inner thighs and toes together, 
and then we will float our knees up off of the carriage. From here, press the carriage out, lift the hips up, lower the hips down, pull the carriage in. Press, lift, lower, pull. Press, lift, lower, pull for four. If that lift of the hips is too much, you can just keep with the pull and extend. Last time. Beautiful. Extend the legs, rotate the toes to one side, and pull the knees in on an angle. For four. Three. Last one. Press the legs to straight. Shift the knees and toes to the other side and pull the knees for six. Last three. Two. And one. Lower those knees down. Ah, turn it over onto your other forearm. Careful here. Forearm comes down to the box. Shift those knees over. So you can come into a kneeling side plank. Really take your time to adjust yourself here before you move. When you're ready, press the carriage out, lowering the hips down. Pull the carriage in, lift the hips up. Maybe that top arm comes to the sky. And you can add that little thread the needle. Hand under, hand up. Hand under, hand up for four. Last two, and last time. Very nice, top hand to the hip. Maybe the top leg extends here. Little lifts up for eight, seven, four, three, two, and one. Externally rotate that top leg, lower the hips, lift the hips. Now as those hips lower, maybe the leg lifts up. For four. Last two. And one more time. Very nice job. Turn back towards your box. One more thing to do here. Forearms down. Parallel arms. Collarbones open. Your toes are in the center of the carriage here. Inner thighs are together. Float the knees. Press the carriage out. And let's do hip dips. Right, center, left, center, keep that carriage still. For four, and three, and last time. Bend those knees, pull the carriage in. Very nice. Okay, from here we're going to lay down onto our back. We're almost there. We're going to slide ourselves in between the box and the shoulder blocks. So depending on your height, that might be tricky. Take your time to scoot yourself in there. Give yourself a slight bit of room between your shoulder blocks and your shoulders. Good. Arms down by the sides. Heels nice and wide on the box. So externally rotate the hips, the knees, the ankles, the toes. Heels are pressing inward. Let's roll the spine up off of the carriage, lifting the hips high, and then roll the spine back down. Now try your hardest to keep that carriage from sneaking out from underneath you. Beautiful, find your breath. Just two more here. Last time, we're going to hold those hips up, press the carriage two-thirds of the way out, and pull in. So the knees have a slight bend all the time, right? We're not ever fully extending our legs. As the carriage pulls in, see if you can propel those hips up a little higher for four, and three, 
and two. Last thing to do here, pull the carriage in and press the thigh bones out for eight, seven, six, last four, three, two, and one. Ah, lower those hips down. Very nice job here. Take one leg to the ceiling. Just take a nice hamstring stretch. Good, switch it out to the other side. Beautiful, bend those knees. Let's prop ourselves all the way up, sneak yourself out of there. We're gonna take our box off of the reformer now. You can take your foot bar and place it back up. And add a heavy spring. So now I'm on a heavy and a medium spring, red and blue on my balanced body reformer. I'm gonna grab onto my straps and place my feet into the loops. Good, let's start together in frog. Heels together, knees hips distance apart, almost hugging the outside of those straps. Inhale, press out. Exhale, bend. Inhale, press out. Exhale, bend. Beautiful job, settle in. Work from your center. Settle the breath for four, last two, and last time hold the legs extended, externally rotated, lift the legs up, lower the legs down, tailbone extra heavy on that mat. Let's do four more here. Last time. And circle the legs up, out, around, and together. Last three in this direction. And reverse. And last three. Take a breath, inhale. Exhale, extend the legs. Toes over the nose, float those hips up. Bend the knees towards the shoulder blocks, heels squeezing together. Exhale, lower the spine all the way down to the mat. Then take your heels to your sit bones and press those legs long. Again, exhale, float. Inhale, bend. Exhale, lower the hips. And bring the heels down and forward. Two more. Find the beauty in this movement. Feel through it with your body. Go as slow as you want to go. One more for good luck here. Very nice job. Bend those knees in. Widen the knees. Grab onto your straps. And just rock a little side to side here. Opening up the hips. Good. Carefully remove those straps. Place your feet down. Place your straps back. Bring your hands onto your low belly. Bring all ten toes onto the foot bar. 
Close your eyes if you feel comfortable to do so. Extend both legs. Lower one heel under and switch. For four. And three. And one more each way. Float both heels up, bend both knees. Beautiful. Prop yourselves all the way up. Good, so thank you guys so much for coming. I hope you appreciated that. I appreciate you being here with me to do this session. If you'd like to, please leave comments and questions down below. Let me, see, let me know what you'd like to see next. And um, thank you for being here with me. Have a great day, guys. Bye.